Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to a Norma... <laughs> Hilarious, her name is Norma. Normal video in which I'm going to be doing some story. There is currently a story event going on. It's super small, I believe. It's it's kind of cool. It's voiced, I believe, but it's... Yeah, it's very minimal. So let's have a look. Uh, I think it's small stories kind of daily. Oh, it's all the way down. She just jumped. So I'm excited to see who's involved and what it's about. I should plunge because it's gonna... Oh, never mind. A bulletin board. Let's have a look at this. Uh-huh. Top Mora. Well, uh, I'm a pretty good chef. Uh-huh. Strange. Why would they still need a new chef? We're smiley. Yes. That guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. Doesn't exactly seem like the type to hire help. Dude, I feel that so much. <laughs> Me with editing main channel videos. The notice says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper who I am. Should we go and see what's up? I was just up there, and then it didn't give me a prompt to do I guess we didn't, hadn't read this yet. We didn't know. But what are we even doing here in the first place? You wanna check up on Smiley? You're actually just there for the Mora, huh? Boss, uh, there's really no Smiley. need Smiley! Just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. Oh, it's not even a burn out. It's just he got he got burned. Perhaps not, but continuing to work will only hinder I remember your recovery. This dude. You need to rest for Hoi a few days. We'll figure something out. Yes. Hoi okay, supposedly we know him. <laughs> oh, Traveler and Paimon. Hey. What brings you to this neck of the woods? Uh, we saw your hiring notice downstairs. And we decided to come check out, um, the price. Check up on the pay. Email. The pay, she means. Uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine. I swear. Right. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yan Xiao's behalf, too. Yeah, no problem, dude. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yan Xiao. Just tell them what happened. I was cooking the beans. And you know, the beans, they get hot. They get hot because there's a lot of moisture in beans, you know? So then you cook the beans and it's like, poof, 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 I got burnt. Oh, all right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern, right? Uh-huh. Things Ooh. got busy. Nice I light. started rushing. And I, I ended up that. accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. Ah, doesn't sound like you, Smiley. What's going on? Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough and you're bound to get burned. Uh-huh. Even the best chefs slip up sometimes. Uh, really? A anyway, it's nothing. Uh, just a tiny burn. I can still... Ow! Now, now. Oh, I don't he's not even hurt. Pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll <laughs> he's right, though. More than just a couple of days off to recover. You know that's actually but true. The lantern rites only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. I know, man. But, uh, it's plus, rough. Lots of the guests Seasonal are jobs. from other nations. We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. <laughs> we have a reputation hey, to uphold. I'm not a random I, I chef. I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. Hey! <laughs> Listen to you. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. Yeah, besides, I'm offended. But he's not wrong. Yan Shao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs Tournament. Mm -hmm. No matter how you look at it, his are big boots to fill. Big boots. I don't mean to boast. But You're absolutely boasting. Probably has their own restaurant to look after. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. I'm going to implode. Hmm. Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they mean Shangling or me, but I'm willing to help. Sometimes the answer you're looking for is right under your nose, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty offended that they didn't think about it. Oh, right. Yes. Now I think about it. I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. Uh-huh. I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. Let me cook! Um, why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? Because when there's bandits, you know, double pay. <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. Oh my god, I can't wait for this arc. 
I'm sure Yan Xiao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if anyone's. What do you think, Yan Xiao? Smiley? Well, since it's you. Ah, Smiley. I suppose that's better than anyone else. You're making me Smiley right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Think, uh -huh. Should we do it? Yeah, what do you mean? I literally said, look under your nose, it's me. You said something about increasing the pay. <laughs> I should warn you. It's so bad. Cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself. Shut so up, Smiley. I know what I'm doing. I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. You are not allowed to breathe in my neck. Oh, so he's not leaving the kitchen after all? Nope. I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, would you mind? Let me cook. Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. Nice. He's actually bossing the boss around, though. Boss, how about you go do some things? All done. Come. Well, you actually did. This was made with your measurements in mind. Ah, oh, this carpentry is incredible. You've missed your true calling. Ah, oh, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease. That's actually kind of sick. All right, Yan Shao. I'll leave you to take it from here. What is this? <laughs> what is this smudgy thing in a Ute sack? You really went to all the trouble of building a new stove top? Because we're I was tiny. Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? We're smaller. We're like half his size. No, no, it's nothing like that. As boss always says, hire who you trust See? and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Well, she can float. She can do it in there. Well, everyone looks short compared to you. Ahem. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> no, we're talking cooking shit. for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Not only do you have to execute on taste... Aroma uh, uh -huh. and appearance. Uh -huh. But you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. But not haste. But not haste, Smiley. And you had haste and you burned yourself. Having the right equipment is a big part of that. Ill suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring, mm -hmm. it also slows you down. So true. And paying customers don't have unlimited patience. So true. Bestie. This is also true about making videos. Sometimes cooking is all about being well. Whoa, prepared. look at the. Chilies. That's how you ensure speed. Very true, and you keep your kitchen clean. Okay, and what about precision and consistency? Tell us. Ah, uh, precision all comes down to using your eyes. And your measuring to tools. to slice into a particular cut of meat. Yes. How much oil to use. How to tell when a dish is done cooking. Uh-huh. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt if it's too bland, or add <laughs> water if it's too salty. Water? You can tweak the taste as you go, but in a restaurant, there's not that much room for trial and error. Smiley? I'm not worried, bud. I got this. Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any side mm -hmm. by making sure they get properly disposed of. <laughs> I get it, but that's not the issue. The issue is the people are going to leave and we're going to ruin the rep. The final thing you have to focus on is consistency. Hey, if you're consistently you have to bad. Be able to handle the most challenging orders with the same level of <laughs> technique and skill as the easiest ones. I see. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, mm -hmm. each with their own tastes and preferences. Oh, so stressful. I thought you'd just go in the kitchen and you cook, but no, there's so many layers, like onions, which are often used in cooking. You have to cater to you their own dietary say. needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies. Of course. Uh, this last point is making Paimon's head spin. You're silly. <laughs> Don't worry. Matter of fact, Someone as well-traveled as you may mm -hmm. even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. I know. And, of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. Awesome, dude. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. You're yapping so much that I think they're all gone by now. Talk to Smiley and start work. Again, Smiley. What's There's up, Smiley? no time to lose, so I know. let's get started. I know. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. Yes. What you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Oh, no. Try not to get them mixed up. I did this on Star once and completely... Well, actually, I, I did remember. I don't believe it at all. A cinch. At the end of the day, we did it already. We cooked. I don't get to cook. I'm tired. I'm sitting on my ass. See, onions, I told you. No, onions. And table three was... Uh... Table three was... Chilies, but... Hold the chilies? Uh... All 
the guests already finished eating. Snap out of it, Paimon. Was Paimon just sleep floating? I don't know what you're doing. You've been talking nonsense since about halfway through the day. Uh, <laughs> we didn't even get a break in halfway the through the journey, she means. Brain is turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? Yes. No, but this is peak season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the inn. Thank you, Smiley. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise, today would have been even more challenging. Leave that for tomorrow, same time. No strange requests? Someone asked for <laughs> almond tofu drizzled <laughs> in soy sauce. <laughs> Even Freddy has never tried that combination. Well, time to try. <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. You know, one time I was over at a friend's and I don't know why his mom just makes the blandest pasta and I came, so I live in France, right? I came up with the most baloney excuse. I was like, yeah, in the Netherlands we eat mayo with, with this, <laughs> which is not true. It was just so it wasn't bland. And then his mom asked mine when my mom came to pick me up. This was like 10 years ago, more than 10 years. And... She was like, so you guys eat this with mayo? Mom was like, no. <laughs> I ran. Never went back to that. No, no longer my friend after that. Also, Too embarrassing. The thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. Mm -hmm. So as long as you do what they ask, yeah. you're unlikely to have any issues. Mm -hmm. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Nah, they just cook. Uh, excuse me. Are Frim. Open by any chance? <laughs> That's Frim, isn't it? Huh? Frémine, incroyable. Uh, <laughs> what should we do? It doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, if only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. Yo, Frem being the main character of the three right now? It's all right. If we start building a campfire <laughs> now, we'll be eating before too long. <laughs> this is so odd seeing these here. Right. Besides, it's like they're actually from a different world. Winnie. Yeah. So busy being a greedy culture vulture. That culture vulture. Track of time. That's kind of cool. Culture vulture. Hit it. Wait, is just by meet that? Where am I? Paimon. So, is the traveler here? Now we parted ways. I don't want to hang out with Paimon anymore. She's done too much. Uh, psych. Greetings. Hello. I am a noble from Wangshu Inn. Traveler. Paimon, what a nice surprise. <laughs> Paimon was going to say the same thing, but just lending a helping hand at the end. Yes, that's us. You filled the three of them in. Anyway, so that's how we ended up here. Well, what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission. <laughs> no, quite father the reference. opposite, actually. We're in Liyue on vacation. Uh -huh. And while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Uh-huh, culture vulture. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Yeah. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. Oh no, and that's a big that's a big mission, guys. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue. Mm -hmm. Especially since it's lantern right season. And the cultural tour Lenny mentioned. We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue style magic show. Really? Although, I think they call it conjuring here. It's not, it's not really, I'm sure, it is magic, I guess. Uh, in our time here, we've seen conjuring Whoa. tricks incorporated into a Liyue show. And even a Wusho dance. It was amazing. It was amazing. It woke me right up. So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. Uh-huh. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa Village not long ago. Really? And today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. Our cultural tour. In the end, though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything yet. Let me whip something up, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm the local cook. <laughs> and speaking of eating, as you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine. True. But it's cooked very differently here. True. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Mm -hmm. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? 
Nothing. That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Wait, I need to know this. Is it... Isn't it just like... Uh, the bamboo shoot soup isn't it, right? Oh, you mean oh yeah, black back, back perch back stew. Perch stew. What's well, too when it's got black back perch, doesn't it? <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful, blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. She could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Stop bullying her. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment. <laughs> what the hell are flaming? <laughs> wow, they had to actually. What? They made a rumble noise with voice that was different you're role-playing what aren't you guys hungry too you're role-playing uh yes <laughs> oh my bad my bad uh yes i'm ready to eat traveler but i'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now what that that i didn't even offer and they that what i'm all right no problem what do you like hmm good question I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so what why do don't you recommend something? Oh god. You should be pretty familiar with our taste. Smiley said this is the hardest thing. Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, <laughs> don't make it spicy. I want to make it spicy if I have a choice, please. I want to be a bully. Buddies, you, you get the nicest table in the world. There's not a table here usually. I thought the black back perch stew was actually pretty tasty. Oh, you can handle the heat. Now that you know it's spicy, you won't be caught off guard, right? Why don't we give it another chance? Uh huh. Once was more than enough. <laughs> you know the thing with spice? I I like spicy, but it's not because it's spicy. You know what I mean? Like, it being spicy doesn't add anything. People love acting mad cool by like, oh, dude, it's so crazy. Spice, like, oh, I love spice. I eat it all the time. I don't know. I think the flavor of the thing that adds spice is what matters, not the fact it's spicy. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Fontaine, huh? Yep. No wonder they can't handle too much spice. See, people think it's like laughable. If the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. Look, why is it such a problem? What do you recommend? Hmm. There's These pussies can't even handle <laughs> spicy work. food. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. Okay. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. Well, let's go then. Ooh, that sounds perfect. What's it called? Paimon à la française. <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. Uh huh. The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat. Like chunks of jade. That's pretty enigmatic. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. Um, my way, I'm cooking. Ooh, I actually get to do things. Receive from friends from afar. Hey, that's a that's a, like a commission thing as well, isn't it? You must continuously prep, mix, and cook. After you begin prepping, the indicator. Oh, it's actually cooking mama well moment. Begin mixing. Points to prompt air. Release the button. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna mess it up. I don't care. Start cooking. Me always. Oh, this is cool. This is meme format. Serve him up. I'm doing it. Wait, these animations are so neat. Actually, let me get my little knife. Press at the right moment to prep. Oh, it's space. Okay, that helps. Look at me go. This is so cute. This really reminds me of the making tea event. The other day I was thinking about it. I was like, ah, oh, you know, that making tea in Mondstadt event. I kind of miss it. Look at me go! Chop, 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 chop. Why is this so cool? <laughs> Wait, these animations are really cute. Look at the movement and everything. I don't know, the, the fact I'm so excited about this kind of shows... How do you hold? The fact I'm like so excited about this kind of shows that we don't get much, do we? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, our character is stirring and showing happy emotions after mixing. What? But this is actually cool though, look at it. The camera movement and everything. Press at the right moment to cook. Yo, stir it up, bum. <laughs> Wait, this is actually very, very cute. I need to saw it. Whoa. Ornaments. No, we need the green for contrast. 
Little lamp. I like this. Finchy cake. Enjoy your finchy cake. That's really cool. I did not expect this to be so cool. Sorry for the wait. This dish is called the Palace Jewels. Enjoy. Yep. It's my jewels. Enjoy. <laughs> it looks nice. I'd eat that. I would eat. Guys, you're just gonna see here. Lynette, come on. You know me. I wouldn't do it to you. Look, there's onion slices. Um, Frem. Don't. Don't do it. No. Lenny, I'm serious. Don't. Don't. Ugh. Be optimistic. Ah, uh, yes. We meant to say you two must be tired after a long day Thank of you. work. Do you want to eat with us? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm already sat down. <laughs> but we'll still let our guests enjoy the first bite. Oh, right. Of course. You're still our customers. Uh, why are you eating? <laughs> the sauce looks a little overpowering. Lynette, come on. Oh, uh, according to Liu at custom, it's probably good table manners <laughs> to let someone else go first. Until the dish is cold and no one has eaten anything. Guys? <clears throat> Please go. Delicious, traveler. Thank you. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. Thank you, Lenny. What is it? Do you need some water? No, he loves it. No. It's delicious. <laughs> the flavor is so pure. <laughs> it's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. Uh-huh. Try it for yourselves. Pam was tap dancing on my little finch cakes. Um uh all right. I wonder if I didn't bring the lamp, if there was any light on the table. Like, maybe we would just sit in the dark. <laughs> Pretty lantern. They're chomping up. Hmm. What is that? Crab rope? That's my jewels. <laughs> yes, you have quite the power, Lynette. Yes, Lynette. Great job. Not trusting my cuisine. I'm not offended at all. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. Uh-huh. According to the creator, chewy crab, compliments <laughs> succulent shrimp, making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor <laughs> and luscious mouthfeel. <laughs> All right, you know what? You, fine, you get credit the for it, too. The crab row glitters like pearls of gold, mm -hmm. and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Yep. Hence its name, the palace jewel. You're really selling it well. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, you're doing this good. So that's where the name comes from. Huh. I suppose it's quite fitting then. Eat my finch cakes. Huh. Was Paimon always this well-spoken? You know her, she's just regurgitating what someone else wrote. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh-huh. It's all gone. Uh, it's half gone, <laughs> When did that happen? Probably were busy yapping away. I cannot believe they actually added yapping. I cannot believe. I heard that in Liyue. The biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. Right. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. You never, ever disrespect me by not wanting to taste it ever again. Wait, don't fight over it. Hey, leave stuff for Paimon. No. Actually, no. Actually, don't deserve any. From... I think... I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. I love using them actually to eat. Practice makes perfect, huh, friend? Uh, yeah. Well, Lenny and Lynette picked it up in no time. Where is she? But they're oh, naturally she is. dexterous. <laughs> is she playing with the cat? Me, it's taken me a lot longer, but I'm slowly getting there. Uh huh. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks. Oh, really? Something related to chopsticks. Someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. Whoa. So if I want to be a good magician's assistant, I need to keep practicing. You got this, friend. As I said, practice makes perfect, friend boy. Hey, boy. That's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes. Mm -hmm. But this time, well, she's expressed it in more ways than one. Uh-huh. I guess you've rubbed off on her, too. 
Easy. What do you mean two? Or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. I mean that's that's the next a fact. Time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. Another sibling. How does that sound? Oh, great master chef. Really, I'm gonna be cooking for for father. Whatever you say, oh great magician. Oh yeah. <laughs> well then, I'll have to clear my schedule. All right. Deal. Shake on it. I knew you would be here. Calorie surplus detected. <laughs> Digestion mode engaged. <laughs> She's a robot. I've never seen you eat so much. Wait, where's the keyhole? She's like Catherine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Linny and I are usually careful about what we eat because we have to stay in performance shape. Mm hmm. That. Plus, it's generally bad manners to overindulge at the dinner table. Oh my god, I have leftovers from yesterday. I'm so excited to eat. <laughs> Once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Yeah. Besides, and my family too, though. until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. I know. You're right. You're right. Smiley? Yeah. Smiley, my son. They loved it. Chef. So your friends like the dish, huh? Yep. Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. Mm-hmm. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. Deal. That's it? That's day one? Ah, the palace jewels. 45 primo gems. I am rich. I am swimming in it. Wait the next day. At six. But friend, I need rest. I'm gonna get five hours of sleep. One hour to put on my cute little dress and whatever, and I'll have to- If you are presently unoccupied- I am. Perhaps we could stop a while at once abode for some repose and conversation. I wish. But we can't. We're cooking. Morning. The boss hey, that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. That's what we like to hear. You know, you can just also- I mean, I assume they know that I'm the cook, but- couldn't they just have said, listen, our, our real home slice of a cook is, is injured at the moment, so it's a replacement cook, but they're just as good. Because then it won't reflect, like, there's, oh, we'll come back some other time if we don't trust the new cook. I like Lynette. I was a little worried Still about throwing Lynette. you right into the deep end, but it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. I'm an alien, Smiley, what can I say? So it should be plain sailing. Well, oh, just as long as we don't run what? into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. Oh, have you had someone like that before? Oh, we're about to get one. Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life. Uh-oh. I think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. Yep, yeah, that's Fadozan, all right. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original. <laughs> or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of I the get recipe. what he means. I get what he means. This is Wong Shu in. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. <laughs> I kind of miss her. It's been so long. I know that voice. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. <laughs> the most expensive ones. Really? Valentine! Oops. Uh, Madam the music. <laughs> oh my! Traveler. Look at all these on. idols. Whatever are you doing here? That's cute. We're cooking. We could ask you the same thing. Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightsee? And to order the most expensive things I was going to say menu. that. The expensive ones. <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like <laughs> myself are highly sought after by cruise operators mm -hmm. in need of an onboard consultant uh, as they travel the world. Layla and Dori. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, <laughs> please uh, slow down. <laughs> the pace. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? She's old. Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. They need to bring it up from the toes. <sighs> it's all my fault. <laughs> she's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Oh, that makes sense. Layla! That explains and it. Yeah, you can say that. Why don't you all take a seat and catch your breath? No one else is like, wait a minute, what are you doing here? Chef, huh? Wow. No 
Do you know that's such a good song from Borderlands 2? Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo specialties. Mm hmm So why are you on Leo again? Something about being an onboard consultant? Right. I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago. Equipped with cutting-edge navigation technology. Really? If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. A GPS, you say? Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from wow. Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Is that... not done? Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to... Need to remember that name. Maybe it'll be an area. Equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. Sounds like illegal overtime. Uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. <laughs> they both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. <laughs> the contract. You really right. You cover all your bases, don't you? Uh huh. Well, time on gas. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? Yep. No wonder Madame Farazan is going for all the most expensive dishes. Yep. <laughs> It's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... You already ordered. <clears throat> Farzan, uh, Madam Farzan, that is. <laughs> While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive wink, wink. on the menu, <laughs> we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. Give me the most expensive dishes. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in the UA are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Not what I'm cooking. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Well, good thing. Our most expensive dish is actually meat-based. <laughs> That's actually a good point. <laughs> For once. Oh, Shreel needs a moment. Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. She's fainting from no sleep? Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. I know. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farazan could not bear to watch <laughs> her poor feet students dangling. and waste away. <laughs> oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but... Why do I feel like I'm being tricked? Uh, it's not just a feeling. So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you oh. have. Oh. Over to you, traveler. She's still saying expensive. That's respectable. So, it's not really cheaping out. It's really just against seafood. No seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. I and know, I know. You. <laughs> mm. I, had I knew Adeptus temptation. temptation. I knew it. Bamboo shoot soup Classic. And they're classics. And I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. Wait. <laughs> but that could be years from now. <laughs> I know. Oh, I thought just temptation Madame could be. Farzan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? What is with... Sure, but I... Uh, you know what? If it makes your day any better, sure. Skyward. Smiley, yes. they want expensive. It's a scholar. So, expensive, but no seafood. And something that takes too long to cook. <laughs> that rules uh -huh. out pretty much our entire menu. Yep. It's over. Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Just get them a block of tofu. Boom. Done. Hi, Dory. Is she doing this on purpose? I'd bet more that she is. This isn't Leoli Pavilion or Xinhua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. Uh-huh. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. Right. Well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, yeah. there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by uh -oh. cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. Let's hear it, Smiley. As it happens, I know a recipe for something Ooh. called trembling strings and rushing reeds. That sounds epic. It can be whipped up quickly with what we Literally already have epic. in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for a 30,000 more. <laughs> what the fuck? 30,000? <laughs> if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? He said it, the technique. Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert Come on, then. work. And Come on, then. Precise control over the heat. I can't wait. You have to finely I really want to do this. different types of meat into fine threads. I do that. Knead them together into strips. Uh huh. Then gently stir fry them in the I like pan. how he's, he's, he speaks it. I like how he speaks it. 
gently, that come through layer by layer. slowly and surely, this dish put in the pan. This offering a harmonious blend of yes. multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Yes. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. <laughs> but if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Ah, uh, classic. Oh, Both sound pretty good, though. <laughs> this dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise. You think I'll be able to pull it off? Of course I'll be able to. I'm the MC. No, don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. No, 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 Smiley. You rest. Just focus on bringing it all together. Smiley, my boy. You can do this. I know. If you mess it up, Paimon will still be happy to eat it. <laughs> Paimon, shut up. Paimon, I'm over it. I'm tired of your schmook. Legend has Which is shit in polite. Once made this dish from five different kinds of meat. Five? It speaks to my lack of skill that I can only handle three. You know what? I'm doing it with six. Let's get it. I am cooking. Trembling strings and rushing reeds. A stir-fried dish made from a variety of meats that has layers like onions. Even entire floors of flavor. Only three. Unfortunately, simple ingredients, unique creativity, and an intricate cooking process that makes it unparalleled delicacy fit for any gourmet seeking the finest of flavors. What a mouthful. They say in Liu that lutes have five strings and flutes have seven apertures. And that is, and that this dish is correspondingly made with five meats, only three for me, and seven side dishes. That said, it is doubtful that any chef, chefs could make a dish as complicated as the story claims. Now we know. I'm ready. I've been formed. And I'm ready to cook. Press at the right moment. I can do that. Chop. Ooh, that was a rough... Oh, it's so fine. It's so fine. Ooh, good. Good slice. Perfect. Thin. Wonderful. The chicken. Chicken's quick slice. Because there's a lot of bone in the chicken. There you go. Very happy about that. <laughs> I move my little bowl. A very cute bowl. And I'm going to mix. Which definitely requires mixing, right? Classic mixing, mixing meats. Although they said I had to make it very fine. Ooh, I may have, may have messed up. Seasoned shredded meat. Oh, is this one the... Wait. I thought we were, like, very precise. I just blended... I made thin slices and then I blended them. Wait, why did it blink red? It had to bounce. Beep, boop, bitty, boop. I should have messed it up intentionally. Okay. Cool. Man, they keep picking the right thing. I like the fan. I like the finches still. Stable balance. No, it needs to be something like. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, it needs to be something simple. <laughs> Trembling strings and rushing reeds. It looks like an attack buff food, I'll say. Food's ready. Please enjoy. Here you go. Ooh, smells delightful. That's right, that's right. 30k Mora. Oh, we meant to ask. Have you two eaten breakfast yet? <laughs> if not, why don't you join us at the table? <laughs> eating this for breakfast? Sure. Uh, did Dory just offer us a free meal? When did she become so generous? When no one liked her, and then now they have to make it a kind of nice character so people start liking her more. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Sits me down. Us. Everyone dig in. Nom 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 nom. Simple enough. And I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario... It's over for maybe you. Maybe... 10,000 mora? Dorita, it's over. This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Enjoy! Oh, so tired. So sleepy. <laughs> I feel bad for this person. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Uh-huh. Everyone begins to eat, each harboring their private something. Foul? Uh huh. Oh wait, no, the texture is more like shroom board. Uh huh. There's a different flavor in every bite. Uh huh. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something strange too. <laughs> Ice trembling. Quite marvelous. Oh my bad, I'm sorry. I thought you were done. 
The smokiness is from the ham. That was my addition. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. I know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, can you see what I cooked? <laughs> so you've noticed. Look, yes, there's a finch cakes again. Yep. Hyman and Yang Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Yep. Uh, so I am not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Great question, Lei. Uh, uh, how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? You see, it's so thin. I can't tell if this is a drawing or supposedly 3D. I think it's a drawing. <laughs> what is very thin strip? Oh, same cooking time. Well, It's a matter of practice. I know some special cooking techniques, you know. I'm an experienced chef. Wow. So this dish really is one of a kind. Yes. That makes the whole trip worth it. Yes. By the way, does this special dish have a name? The 30,000 Mora Bomb. Ah, Paimon forgot to mention that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Paimon explanation part. Trembling strings and rushing reeds. Uh-huh. Alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also, yeah. the complex layers of flavor, yes? <laughs> she actually got interrupted one Akin time. to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. Shut up! The name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leoic idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance nope. featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. No. Nope. Mm, quite an apt name for this day. No, it has to do with the seven, the seven instruments, seven dishes at the same time and five strings. Uh, how do you know that? <laughs> She's old. Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Boring. Wait. Is that not a requirement anymore? No. Uh, huh? Oh, that used to be a thing. That's why she's immortal. She just has 20 lives to live. Oh, I might almost forgot that you're also from Haravatat. Haravatat. So, um, anyway, how much does this dish cost? A mere 30,000 more. Not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more. <laughs> <laughs> the crooked smile. I hate it. Why does it look like some base default emoji? I actually hate it. 30,000? Yep. <laughs> she was blabbing on a lot longer in the original. I you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. Nope, I'll pay my 5k, sure. So, perhaps... We could split the bill accordingly. Nice deal. Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. 30,000 more surely is an outrageous amount for the most magnanimous Sang the Lord Sangama Bay. So true. I'll talk to the boss. We should be able to get a 20% discount. Yeah! As a famous <laughs> merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. I'm not doing that for her. But every single Mora matters, you know? Same for us, Dory. What do you think? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. How does that argument only work for her? It goes both ways, doesn't it? Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. Can't. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. Who's like the cook in Sumeru? Who's cooking in Sumeru, huh? What's up, Lei? I'm doing it, I'm sorry. Uh, I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Mm-hmm. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirits. I never thought you'd take on such a strenuous strict work. Uh, 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 my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Shots fired at me again. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. <laughs> oh, I know. Huh. Uh, maybe I can think of it as my... First internship experience? Sure. Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Felt. Dori, Dori, you trying to scam me? Look at this, Dori. Do a little dance around you. That's an extra for the 30k included. Buy a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients. <laughs> Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? Uh, by the way, the whole spiel about no seafood and not taking too long to cook. Be honest, you chose Wang Shuin to try and save money, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have known you'd see through me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Yep. Well, 
You saw how that turned out. Well, I made one dish. I tried That's it. I some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. That's what you get for being mean. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. I know. Hey, treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. You want to talk, Paimon. You feel whenever you get the chance. Well, yeah, you guys go together. To talk about this. You guys go together. I guess that's true, actually. Good point. I'm leaving Paimon with you. Faru. Hey, dude. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, mm -hmm. this trembling it's a mouthful, isn't it? rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Uh-huh. Thank you for making it. Uh, I never thought you'd take a job away from my ru- oh, <laughs> I still know how to speak. I never thought you'd take a job away from the ruins. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea. Yeah. Dory's offer was quite enticing. Did you read the fine print? She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and really? bring them back to Sumeru. For her, not for you, though. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. You're so you're done for. for. The lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're being memed. I don't care. She's also trying to mess with people. I keep walking in the ingredients, Smiley. I feel like you should probably tell me not to, but who cares, right? We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. Oh my, are you telling me there's more this day? You and Paimon work flat out till closing time, serving countless customers, blah, 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 something. Oh, never mind. Trembling strings and rushed reeds. Tomorrow morning, Smiley. I'll be back. Morning. Hey. To fire up the stove for another day of customers. Yep. Thanks again. No problem. With days of experience under your belt, your work is becoming second Great nature. Work. Thank you, Smiley. Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. That's your expertise in guiding. Uh, whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Who is the craziest character that we can see walk through the door? Wait, no! Everything <laughs> you <laughs> True. Who is it? Hey, I want to say, true. anyway, I didn't mean it like that. Someone that has like a lot of might, a lot of power, maybe like an adeptus or a chising or a fatu <laughs> <laughs> or Ito. <laughs> Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in the UA too. What up, bro? Ah, it's always nice to run into a broad and a zoom and fellow. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, did I say that right? Is Toma here too? He always calls Toma, bro. Wait. And didn't they just leave after the Arataki Ito Biro Battle Boot Camp? Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. Did he say, did he call him abroad? Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah. We got a oh, what? This far from home. Don't we, Ayato? Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, Checker! What are you doing here? <laughs> Lavender melon, uh, of the sky cleaving white iron variety, mm -hmm. <laughs> and my compadre, too. <laughs> All my buddies in one place. God. Today's my lucky day. <laughs> He's how does he have so much energy? I need a minute. Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more? Am I just energyless? That's it. I'm going to start chugging Red Bulls and coffee. I've never had any caffeine before a video or anything. I don't even drink coffee. I, I don't drink energy drinks either. I'm going to just chug them before videos so that I'm hyper energetic and just scream the entire time through. Ah, that could wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing Mora at me. Uh -huh. Right now, I have right. a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good spicy food. Okay, I I I got you covered. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakado's okay and whatnot. Good, that's cute. Look at Shinobu's face; seems to say, "Don't ask." What about you, Ayata? Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikanto <laughs> fighting contest <laughs> in Leo. <laughs> Naturally, I came here as soon as I could. Really? But alas, it was too late. I like that. What? You missed it? Oh man, what a bummer! Organize a new one. Quite the bummer, indeed. <laughs> no, all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. True. Really? He's not interested. <laughs> He's man. got a different but, uh, goal, right? Let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef, anyway? Hey, hey get the chef out here. I got compadre. <laughs> hey, I'm the chef. Yeah, sure. Me too. Wait, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> I also say same all the time. That one for us really nicely. Uh-huh. Gotta give him some credit for that. Uh, the main chef's another guy, though. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. <laughs> you almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. I am the chef. <laughs> you and Palmer go to the kitchen and fetch Smiley. Smiley, so, you'll like uh, this guy. May I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the palace jewels, a trembling strings and rushing reeds, no, or... No, no. Smiley, we've had both of those already. Come on, what are you what are you talking about? Boss, don't forget the budget. Yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh um uh got anything a little more uh down to earth? <laughs> what is this hand movement? Let me uh whoop <laughs> Down to Earth. Oh, well well we do a mean humbly enough. Humbly we enough. A dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. Oh yeah. That'd be the best value for your mora. Sounds like my kind of meal. Humbly enough, huh? Yeah, very humble. Sounds like my kind of grub. It is what I'm saying. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. <laughs> Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows. <laughs> Wait, I like him a lot here. He, why is he so nice today? A bro just knows. Yes, a bro just knows. <laughs> <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows. Is this real? Yes. Oh, whatever. Pardon's leaving you guys to it. Their dynamic is really good here. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. Seriously, if I blinked, I would have missed it. Cookie wants help. Staff just launched itself a bloom pruner and sent it flying. <laughs> This guy right here, he did it. He's the one. I'd expect no less of the bona fide beetle battle king himself. <laughs> it sounds like a truly epoch-defining duel. Yes, yes, it, that it was. It was meta-defining, believe it or not. Tanky beetles became meta after that. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so uh -huh. <laughs> I made some excuses and slipped away. I figured. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. Mm -hmm. I'll fill you in later. Do you fill me in now? All right, or don't. I'm gonna go cook. See you around. And just for you, I will walk around the counter very neatly, very nicely. Look at that. No jumping, no sand in the salad. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Uh-huh. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make. So I don't think we'll have any problems. And he drinks it. Actually, what is it called, humbly enough, anyway? She I wants to explain it after they've eaten start, it. But in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Well, humbly enough means that it is humble, but not too humble. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Hmm. Don't be fooled by the appearance. <laughs> it's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Tofu? Wait, tofu's made of beans. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, bull chunker cake. Oh, yeah. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. Right. I didn't, I'm glad you added one and one together, because I had forgotten about the bean thing. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. What are you doing in my kitchen, Cookie? Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> the kitchen is I said staff too. members only. Uh-huh. <sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else uh -huh. instead? <laughs> no one gets my bravado like I do. <laughs> I hereby declare that humbly enough. Oh no. <laughs> the symbol of our friendship or my name ain't Arataki. Oh no. Hey, where's our food at? Hurry up! I'm almost done recounting the epic <laughs> adventures of Crimson Staff! Ito, I haven't even started cooking yet! Shut up! Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, no brother. Is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. <sighs> We're locked in now. We gotta cook that dish. Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. Oh. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. So we're filling him up with appetizers. Got it. Got it. Start cooking. Wait. Cookie? Start cookie? I never knew tofu allergy was even a thing. <sighs> okay. I'll, I'll handle the appetizers. You take care of the main event. Deal. I can help too. Don't cookie. worry. Cookie. I'm qualified. Cookie. I passed the U.S. senior culinary exam once. You little queen. You big queen even. You gigantic queen. Let me cook this real quick. I'm gonna chop the tofu up. A fragrant and nostalgic Liwa dish, humbly enough. One's number one choice for a hearty tucking in. 
This dish requires one to craft the colors and aromas of meat from tofu, which demands much of the chef's seasoning skills. Word has it this dish was designed for those with other folks. For those with other folks with weakened teeth. Ah. Perhaps it is also a chef's duty to ensure that all people can enjoy good food. Serve them up. Okay, it's for the oldies that don't have their teeth anymore. Chop the tofu up. Come on now. Chop. 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 And chop. Oh, I got some... I got some spies for you. There's a good some spy. Ba! 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 I chopped that to perfection. Look, let me so happy. Step two, mixing. I got you. And I'm holding. Oof, it was a little bit early there. Not gonna lie, I kind of messed up the, kind of messed up the mixing. I think. Mixed sauce obtained. Where's the lamb sauce? There's actually no lamb in this because it's, uh, it's a vegetarian dish. Believe it or not. Actually, it might not be. It might not be vegetarian. It might just be tofu. So you can chew it. <laughs> just like me when I got my braces. <laughs> I didn't, never thought about that. I could have definitely done that, actually. Just had tofu. They always pick the best one. Fine. Keep it, keep it as is, then. Whatever. I, don't let me cook. Actually, it's tasty as heck. I'm getting really hungry. I'm doing this right before lunch. I'm actually getting really hungry. I want to take a bite out of those finch. Imagine. Who's here? <laughs> oh, oh, so this is humbly enough. Yeah. You guys don't mess around. I know. Well, love me that portion size. I, I, let's listen. What we do, what we say. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. No, no, appetizer, appetizer. <laughs> well, that's kind of creepy. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. <laughs> Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. It is true. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, <laughs> I thought old timey traditions weren't your style. Now that I finish in the kitchen, I'm a guest too. Uh, are you kidding me, compadre? <laughs> oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. No, oh, he's an angel, though. Uh. I know. It's because there's tofu in there. You pawn on Ayato and Shinobu. Help yourselves, leaving very little <laughs> meat behind. I see. Yeah, you see. You, you tasted it, didn't you? Finally, it's my turn. <laughs> I spot <spied> a <laughs> <chunk of> deliciousness <laughs> with my name on it. Uh huh. Wait, Doug. No, it's. <laughs> huh? What is it now? You got this, Paimon. You know the drill. Poor Tell guy. A really cool origin story of this thing. <laughs> origin story, dude. Who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. Uh huh. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet. That's right. Uh, well, um. It's like you can smell the food from here. Story is like, like going traveling without a tour guide. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trust Paimon, you'll get way more out of the experience after you hear it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, yes. is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? He's not wrong. He speaks facts, and he's a hydro character talking about tea, and if we know anything about Nuviet, they're smart. There you go. That's actually a real conclusion. My compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going away. So... <laughs> all right, then. Give me the full story. I'm all ears. Wow, that's so kind. That's my like it. Oh my, oh my. Actually, no. Let's start <laughs> He's got eyes with closed. the story of Wang Xiuen. He's actually listening. Which starts with the history <laughs> of Steve Wong's Please fade the black. Now's our chance, traveler. Got it. Well, Ito is distracting you, you know, we begin to calm down the dish. The tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. <laughs> People in the past had it pretty rough. Yeah, you man. Appreciate what you got. True. Humbly enough, yeah. That's a good way to think about life. I know. That's actually true and deep. Darn. There's no segue to tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh-huh. Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. Uh-huh. Already beyond stuffed. 
Yo, compadre, Shinobu, <laughs> have you been eating this whole time? Save yes. some dreads, why don't you? Yeah, sorry. That's it. I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Chomp down. Wait, boss, that's made of tofu. One moment, Ito. <laughs> I hey. Have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. You gotta respect the bros. You gotta respect the bros. Question. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my. Oh, legend. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers <laughs> of the Arataki gang. So they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. So I was thinking, maybe I could say that you left your portion for them so I could take it home for them. However, if yep. you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough yep. to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> The eyes. They they're done a lot of effort for like emotion here. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Leeway. <laughs> Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course. Uh huh. Including mine and Ayato's. <laughs> huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? Ah, uh, poor guy. In that case. Pass my regards to your fam, bro. You know? El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? <laughs> okay, with this guy. I actually really like it. He's very sweet. I think we could have just added meat in the in the dish for him, right? Just replace the tofu for his portion. Come on. Like, come on, man. Thank you, Aita. Nice save. Crush more. Instant <laughs> kill. <laughs> I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. You didn't really go for the beetle battle boot camp, did you? <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh-huh. That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. I know. No, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. I see. How come you didn't come to the lantern right then? Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. Mm -hmm. For others... All the more reason to avoid the crowd. Fair enough. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Now, as for the leftover tofu... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. His other bro. I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. Right. In his tummy! Or to his dog. Hey, yo. Get back to the docks as soon as his meal is done. So, why'd you really come to Leo? Well, uh... Thing is, yeah. I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor. <laughs> really? To hitch a ride here. Actually. After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. Uh huh. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Are you gonna be the one that brings us to Natlan? Just because he's here already. No other reason. <laughs> he's like a little angry baby. <laughs> Clenched fist, like that Arthur meme or whatever it is. I will walk, I'll walk, and no flying over the ingredients, Smiley. We did it. Looks like that's all sorted. Yep. All right. Take some time to collect yourself. Oh. The next big group is coming in. Collecting myself. Huff and puff. The rest of the day passes without incident. But. Never mind. There's no but. Except for mine and his big. Oil salt. So. 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 <laughs> Vinegar. Right. That's everything we need. Nice job, Smiley. Keep it up with the ingredients, my boy. 14 minutes after time again. I'm really working full days here. Smiley. Part 4. It's probably the last one, I assume. How time flies. I know. My burns are almost healed now. There you so go. I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. I see. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. I've tried? Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. And cursed. <laughs> he, just us again. he did, in fact. The day passes without incidents. I think. I'm thinking Yai needs to show up because she's on a banner. Uh huh. Yeah, practice makes perfect, as we keep saying. We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Yes. Mm. Back then. We were struggling to remember who ordered what. You were. Everything's a piece of cake now. Don't get ahead of yourself. The day isn't over yet. Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? Shout poofs in. Uh, actually, now that Amber, you... Misha! 
Mika Schmied! Mika! I called him Misha because of Star Rail. What were you saying? Sorry, I saw Mika Schmidt walk up. Uh, Lenny is- yeah, yeah. Hello! How cute. Yamber? Mika Schmidt! We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. <laughs> the original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. Does this sound more nerdy than usual? But Captain Eula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Liyue -E cuisine for quite some time. Uh huh. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. You can. Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? Uh huh. <clears throat> <laughs> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip. So it's done. So I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you mm -hmm. have a problem with that? Yes. Are you going to ex ex exert vengeance on me for it? Welcome to Wang Shuin. Can I take your order, angry madam? Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? Well, I'm planning to poison it for vengeance. The traveler's been filling in for the chef here. <laughs> you come at the traveler. Uh huh. Wow, really? Yeah. Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. Right. So, what shall we get? Hmm. I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. As I used Mika, to be. Eula, what are you in the mood for? Pot pocket 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 cole pockets. Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary night's cooking for myself. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. Learning? Mm, something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Beyond that, anything goes. What's going on? It looks like your soul is being sucked up right now. Your pupils are so high up. Wasn't it your idea to come here, though? Mm-hmm. This is like getting blood from a stone. I know. Right, I guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Yep. Yeah. Hit, hit us. Huh? Then I guess... Oh my yeah, god. I don't really mind either. Anything goes. I know people say, like, undecisiveness is like, real. oh, it's so nice when people undecide. Yeah, you could pick whatever. No, pick something. It's much easier. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Guys, what I'm the heck? Sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. What do you feel like eating? I mean, I could pick from the menu at random... But I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. <sighs> One thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Okay. Neither of them can drink. Brother, when you use alcohol in a dish, you usually cook it out anyway. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the reveal as well. Like, you can see when he's like, uh, I still got some sparkling water. <laughs> My little ledge, Mika Schmidt. Smiley, we got some tough, got some tough beans here. Anything goes, huh? Yep. Oh dear. I know. This is a chef's worst nightmare. I know. With no idea of your customers' palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Even not as a chef, you need to clean your thing as well. I saw there was some smudge there. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, mm -hmm. I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. I know it. Show them what you've got. Chop suey. Let me think. What do they like? What could they be craving? Cheap and tasty chop suey. From the look on your face, you've already figured it out. Yep. All right then, go ahead and show them what you've got. I'm gonna call this my own specialty. Anything goes. Let's get going. Anything goes. A simple dish filled with rich flavor, straight from the wok, made from stir-fried ham, bird eggs, rice, and all manner of ingredients. This actually sounds really good. It's like, uh, it's like nasi. Uh, they say the myriad recipes for fried rice have resulted in being considered the first choice for those who don't know what to eat at the moment. It's true. <laughs> I've noticed the fact that this is a simple dish is, in truth, quite the comprehensive test of a chef's capabilities. Only skill and will, they say, will get you a dish that brings back memories of home. Yeah, I got you with that. I got you with that. This also reminds me of home. Let's go then. Let's go then. Starting it up. Only two slices of ham. But... You need to make sure that the bamboo shoot is chopped to perfection. At least six slices into it. The kaya lilies, you see, need eight slices because the flavor only, whoops, gets released when you chop enough. I really messed up the last slice. I thought I pressed it, but I guess my finger wasn't middle on the spacebar enough. 
for the little inside inside in the kitchen you know what i mean all right make sure you stir this stuff up there you go sounds nice and nice mixed eggs that's if your eggs sound like that you probably should get different eggs i do not think eggs are supposed to sound like press at the right moment to cook now what's interesting about this one is that it's a, it's a two-part cook it's a two-part dish as you can see you need to cook once at the start once at the end i need to keep stirring it you know make sure it doesn't really burn you need to fry but not burn it okay i'm sorry that does not that does not look fried at all it looks like a big wet ball and it rhymes fine serve it that does not look fried to me i mean if you can make it a big ball like that i don't know thing. what's up mika what would you think this is delicious. Good. Perfectly seasoned. Good. Even the rice is bursting with flavor. That's right. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. Eat your finches. I'm tired of it. <laughs> You've put the finest Pavonian field rations to shame. Yes. And that's no mean feat. So, tell us, traveler, what's this one called? Anything goes. It's Why not? Why are you so quiet, too? Oh, help! Hyman doesn't know how to explain this dish at all! It's got no name! It's just basic ingredients simply cooked! Pizza! Basic ingredients simply cooked? <laughs> really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here. Mm -hmm. Or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. That's called the chef's kiss. Uh, this isn't the finest dish in the world, but it's the one you need right now. Not the finest dish in Guys, the Guys, it's, world, it's but psychology. The one you need right now. Yeah. You've been on the road for a long time, man. You've only been eating field rations the entire time. So you mean... We yes. We only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Well... Mm, there's got to be more to it than that. I am an excellent chef as well. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. So true. Oh. Kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Mm-hmm. Huh, that makes sense. Put these finches with the big faces out of their misery now. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Wow, it's like not even that far. Uh, but Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying Lyric Cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? It's just a stop, Paimon. They're not here to cultural experience. They're here because they have to eat. Oh, I'm or they not talking die. about the taste. I just meant the feeling of... Comfort, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like the feeling of coming home. I love home. Comfort. Coming home. There you go. Well, home Ian comfort. So did say we Recipe make dish name. Feel right at home. What makes for a tasty dish is highly subjective. Everyone's got their own preferences. And so, I'm going to call this where home is where the heart is. But a chef caters to all comers. We've got to put ourselves in their shoes. It's true. And that's a chef's passion. For putting smiles on customers' faces. So, in other words, the secret <laughs> ingredient. Is oh, the passion. emo music to top it all off. Come on, then. Despite how terribly cliche that sounds, I'll admit dee, 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 that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words. I'll remember this recipe. Shut up. I don't care. Do vengeance elsewhere. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name, though, right? Dee, dee, have we come up with a name for this dish yet? Yes. My big rice ball. I hadn't really thought that far. Do you have any ideas? We're doing the same day did. Hmm. How about right at home? Wow, that's so good. I vote no. Me Kashmir. Okay, sorry. The rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies. Ooh. To come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. You just said that all it tasted good because you're hungry and you only ate cold food whatever still please do drop by and try a few storm press pies next time you're in town i insist only if you make them you make them for me i'll try them chief hmm. you're right amber uh sorry i zoned out just now didn't see you coming you got something on your mind yeah that food <laughs> just now, really it reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me nice i thought i'd forgotten how they tasted but all came rushing back. Nice. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I'd do my outrider training with him until the evening, mm -hmm. then wait patiently at the dinner table. Right. 
I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waft. waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. I know waft just means smell, like there is a smell, but waft is it like it's to me when I hear it, it just reminds me of fart. I don't know. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner. And even though she'd always find something to complain about, really, she really enjoyed the food. I guess it's just nature. Ah, so she remembers too, maybe. And maybe that's why she suggested you come here for dinner. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. I know. She'll only give you another earful. I know. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes she cute, but sometimes, you hear that? Sometimes you mad annoying. <laughs> Me kashmeet. Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Really? Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. That's also a skill. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. I know, and it's the effort you put in. Maybe passion yes. is a secret ingredient then too. Yes, and care. Good shit. Good shit, Mika. Friends, it's been wonderful. Thank you for having me. There you are. Thank yes. you for all of your hard work over the past few days. Of course, my pleasure. Assuming I'm still being paid, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks. I wasn't gonna. Here, take it. Wow. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Nah. Call it a bonus. Hard Hi, work um. is rewarded here. Ah, oh, you pretty man. Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. Yeah, if only that was how it worked. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, <laughs> a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. Well, I, for one, look forward to enjoying your cooking many more times in the future. <laughs> well, I've become Anytime. so noble somehow again. Bring so. some friends with you next time and I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao can do when working with both hands intact. Alright, Chief. Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. Uh -huh. We may have just boosted it again. She's right. She's right, Smiley. Better be careful, Chief. Receiver of friends from afar. That was it. It's over. We'll have to miss them all again for a whole last year. Alright. I think that was it, guys. Let me have a look. Is there anything else? Or is it just like, do you get money from the event details? Completed. 60 more primos. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, this is you can click on them. They they pop up the little new icons. Look at how cute they are. You're so over it, Amber. Me kashmeet. <laughs> Layla eeping. Faruzan thinking. Dori money. Linny excited. Frem confused. Lynette exhausted. Very cute. Me kashmeet. Okay. That's it. We did it. Hey, thanks everybody. I have these primos on my head. 60 of them. Pretty nice. Actually, we're swimming in them. Look at this. It's like 120 primo gems. Just like 180 primo gems. They just flew into my pocket. That's one pool right there for the next five star when I was greedy and pulled for C1 Cloud Retainer and got Tainari. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, good vibes in Liva, as always with the Lantern, right? See you soon with more story. Bye bye.